number one. Step into the shoes of a sprouting onion in layers deep, a hand-drawn 2D Metroidvania set in a southern gothic world on the brink of ruin. Inspired by Hollow Knight and Over the Garden Wall, this game invites you to explore a non-linear open world, gathering upgrades and unlocking new areas as you journey from the underground civilization of Old Antrim. Navigate a world where pumpkins and gourds thrive, alongside hibernating frogs, hunting crows, and other worldly beings. Layer Steep features tight platforming, strategic combat, and a focus on exploration. Combat emphasizes timing and movement, with a variety of skills and abilities to discover that enhance both your combat prowess and navigation. The game also boasts original music by The Blasting Company, creators of the Over the Garden Wall soundtrack adding to its immersive atmosphere. Number two. Welcome to Fortune Avenue, a strategic multiplayer board game. Its dice mechanics use real-world physics blending chance and strategy in every role for an authentic experience. The Wheel of Fortune, also physics-based, adds dynamic unpredictability to each game. It includes a monopoly-like multiplayer environment, land acquisition, hotel development, continent monopolies, and wonder collection. Engage with players worldwide, building and shaping your empire. The game visuals look great, and it's nice to see a board game being developed in Gala. You can check it out on Steam. Number three. Bella wants to play, and you're the main participant. In Bella Wants Blood, you're trapped in a world where the godlike Bella demands you play their game to feed them blood, lay down gutters, and deploy destructive terrors to obliterate Bella's friends and their grotesque minions. Tasty strategies await as you choose your path picking specific rewards, and deciding which monstrosities to face. Seek out gutters, terrors, or powerful mementos to upgrade your abilities. With each journey offering a unique experience, you'll never play the same game twice. Monstrosities spawn at the end of the gutters you lay down. Will you create a winding maze with strategically placed terrors, or a short, intense gauntlet of destruction? Make the most of what you get to survive Bella's game, and maybe, just maybe, they'll let you go. Maybe. Number four. Embark on a fantasy adventure inspired by Commodore 64 classics in Temple of Eren. Step into the role of a powerful sorcerer, summoning mighty creatures and unraveling ancient mysteries in a vast, curious, and deadly world. Explore a richly detailed world, uncovering its secrets, and meet its diverse inhabitants as you engage in a unique, turn-based combat system where casting mighty spells is the key to defeating your enemies. Summon various creatures to fight by your side, each bringing unique strengths to your battles. Focus your spirit to learn new spells and evolve your spellbook, with progress solely reliant on mastering these spells. Discover your destiny as a powerful sorcerer, where magic, strategy, and exploration intertwine to create a captivating adventure. And congrats to last week's winner, a tie between Kill a Flow and Twin Stick Shooter Starter Kit. Be sure to vote for your favorite to have them featured in our new Gato Game of the Awards at the end of the year. And a reminder, just because a game doesn't win their week, doesn't mean they can't appear in the awards. Number five. Our last spot showcases a game in development that highlights some of the Gato Engine's 3D capabilities. Project Fractal Jump doesn't have a ton of information out yet, but the small visual examples already look quite impressive. Lots of care has clearly been taken with lighting and atmosphere, and it's nice to see Gato's reflection capabilities be put to good use. You can learn more about the game on their YouTube channel or on Twitter, and will eagerly await more visual eye candy in the future. <laughs>